Hi there, welcome to the channel. I'm Beatrice. Welcome back. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. And today's class is a gentle yoga class for constipation and bloating. You don't need any props for this class. And when you're ready, come practice with me. We are starting this class on our back. You can start with your knees bent, feet wide, as wide as your mat, knees in together, or if you prefer, you're welcome to come to straight legs. Take your time to settle on your back. Rest your hands on your abdomen, perhaps your lower abdomen, if that feels all right for you today. Relax your shoulders and rest your whole body on the ground. Let yourself be held. Come to notice sensations at the palm of your hands. Notice the soft and subtle movement of the belly with the breath. He will toe the feet to center and invite the right knee gently to your chest, holding around the shin, holding as close as possible and extending the left leg down. This is called wind relieving pose. So you can guess what the intention is from the traditional name of it. And as you come here, try not to lose the attention on the breath. So this time you can notice the belly on your thigh rising and falling. Focus on that for a moment. And as you hold your thigh in, you can feel perhaps a gentle abdominal massage like sensation. Gently bend your left knee, slide the sole of your foot on the ground, bring your foot as wide as your mat. And then invite the right knee a bit farther out to the side and swish the hole to the back of your thigh. You can stay here. If this is enough, remain there. Otherwise, bring the sole of your foot to point up to the ceiling. And you can be still holding the back of your thigh or you can bring your hole to the inside or outside of your foot, inviting the right knee out and down into half happy baby. If you feel that your hips are shift, uh, shifting to the right, bring the left foot on the outer edge so that keeps the hips balanced on the ground. Slowly release the right foot, place it back on the ground. 
and invite the left knee to your chest. Hold it in, lengthen the right leg down and return to your breath, following the belly rising and falling on the thigh. Bring your right foot back on the ground as wide as your mat, perhaps on the outer edge. And then bring the left knee out to the side. If this is enough, you can stay, just switch the hold to the back of your thigh. So the knee comes out and down. If you'd like to come to half happy baby, lift up the foot, flex your foot, sole of the foot to the ceiling. And you can come to hold the inside or outside of your foot, still inviting the knee out and down. So now the pressure is a bit more on the lower belly rather than the whole of your left side of the tummy. So you bring the sole of your foot down, follow with the left, and then bring both knees to your chest. You can take a bit of rocking. And in your own time, roll to one side and come up to hands and knees. From here, take your time to lower yourself down on your front. And then lift yourself up onto your forearm into Sphinx pose. Now you can have your elbows in line with your shoulders, but if that's a bit too much for your lower back especially, have your elbows a bit farther away. That will actually also bring a bit more compression in your tummy, which is good for this class. And take a moment to soften the hips, press the ground away with your fingertips, roll the shoulders down. And you can keep your chin in line with the ground, either close off the eyes or look down for five breaths. Slowly lower down to your front. Take your hands either side of your chest and lift up to hands and knees coming into child's pose. So bring your big toes together and if you can, keep your knees together as well and walk your hands back towards your knees as you send your hips back. If you feel that that's a bit too much for your knees, you can take anything in between your sitting bones and your heels, blanket, a pillow, blocks, Relax your tummy back on your thighs and relax your head down, maybe on the ground, maybe you want to rest it on the forehead, the forehead on your forearms. Again, take five breaths here. 
Follow the tummy rising and falling on your thighs. Reach your arms forwards, lift through to hands and knees and come down onto your front to finish in crocodile. So for crocodile, stack your forehead on top of your forearms, forearms on top of each other and relax down. Make sure you feel safe and comfortable and continue to follow your breath. Your tummy on the ground. You can stay here for as long as you need to. And also you can take this video however many times you like. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope your tummy feels a little better. Please like and leave me a comment if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't yet and share with your friends and family. Thank you.